Bang! Neves Knives, I'm Jared, and today we're doing the best knives of 2022. So, the top 25 knives of 2022. Now, this knife right here would be probably on the list, but I recently got it. This was Kara's Christmas gift, um, her knife gift. And this is the Wii Hyphen. Now, the thing is, though, is that this one has a powdery texture, which I should have thought about, but, you know, I did it. I wound up ordering it for her, and she cannot stand the way it feels. So I wound up ordering her a blue stonewashed one, which I think she'll like a lot better. But it is 20 CV with a nice deep hollow ground harpoon blade. Um, this one has the anodized finish. They do come in multiple different colors and stuff. But this just came out. It is designed by Gavco. So I can't really put it on the list because I've only had it for a few days. But let's get into the knives that are on the list, starting off with the Max Ace Black Mirror. Now, this is an awesome knife. And or the only problem with it, I should say, because it's a really good knife, is that Blade HQ raised their price on us about $40. Now, I'm pretty sure you can find it in other places for the same price it originally was, like $144, $148, something like that, which is a crazy good deal. Even the price that Blade HQ technically is selling it at now is still a, an okay deal. It's still good. But... It just doesn't make sense when you can still get it for the other prices. Now, the thing is, I think maybe some of the other places you might have to wait a few weeks to get it. I'm not positive about that, though, so don't quote me on that. But this is um, an M390 blade, titanium frame lock, titanium milled pocket clip and backspacer. Amazing access to the lock bar, and it's very fidgety, very comfortable in the hand, and it's a solid knife. Um... So, yeah, that price tag is, is a really, really good deal. And it's just a, a super good knife. Next, we have another Wii knife. The Wii Mini Malice. I'm so happy that they came out with this. I would have loved to have seen this even in the full size because the original one is a full size knife. And I love, it's probably my favorite Wii knife of all time, um, the Wii Malice. Now, this is the Mini Malice, so it brings it down to an under three inch blade with a button lock instead of a frame lock and the button lock is amazing it has a great acoustics I'm not sure if that'll come over the mic but it's very tingy and yeah um i absolutely love it most of these knives on this list will come in multiple different versions some of them even come in budget options so um check the links down in the description i'll try to put everything i can down in the description including links to the budget options if possible this one doesn't have a budget option but i'm just saying as we move forward some might um, but it does come in multiple different versions 20 cv titanium titanium uh, milled pocket clip standoffs and hardware so very very cool next we have Let's talk about some Kaisers. So we have the Kaiser Deviant. Now mine has a force patina on the copper. I'm going to clean it off and redo it. Uh, I, I never sealed it. M390 steel. Uh, micarta with the copper. Steel liners. And a deep carry steel pocket clip. Now this does come in a couple different options. But what I love about this knife is the thumb set action is so good on it. And it's just super well done. Like. Not just the design, the detent, the action, but uh, sheepdog knives, I guess. I guess it's just sheepdog designs, man. They seem like they all, I love them all. So this one is no exception. I love this knife too. And yeah, um, so let's get to the next one. <clears throat> the next one is, another, we're going to go through the couple Kaisers we have. The Kaiser Escort. This is a fan fantastic work knife 20 cv steel now they do have a budget option with this one this one has the aluminum handles in the 20 cv but there's a 154 cm version with rich light um uh deep carry clip not in set but it does have flat screws and it has their clutch lock which is adjustable you can adjust the the lock strength basically so you can have a stronger or lighter detent and they even come with extra omega springs that are even thicker than the ones that come in the knife just to give you a little bit more um strength to the lock bar if you want to switch that but it is fidgety as all hell um, but the ergos are great. It slices good. Great sharpening choil. Like I said, it's just a fantastic work knife. It's going to work in any grip. And it's got a nice tough locking system. Super solid build. And yeah, love it. <clears throat> and then the last Kaiser on the list is the Drop Bear. Now this one is the 20C, or sorry, yeah, the 
Elmex, sorry. <laughs> the Elmex and Fat Carbon Fiber Edition. And it has the clutch lock, just like the, the last knife, the Escort. Um, but I love this spear point blade. It's almost like a Spanish spear point where the tip is just a little bit lower than the center, which makes it super good for EDC. Like this, the, the knife ergonomically, it's super comfortable. Comes with a deep carry clip that's also milled so and the clip works good in the hand it doesn't bother me at all and i i love the size of it um i have three different ver three or four different versions of this now uh and it, they're all awesome so you can get this in a more budget friendly option as well which that's the one i would recommend to be honest i'd recommend the 154 cm and aluminum version so very very awesome next the dharma and the Dharma has one, I love the look of it. It has this beautiful satin drop point blade and M390 steel, beautiful sharpening tool and plunge grind, titanium bolster, or titanium bolster looking, but it's a liner lock. So it does have a bolster, but it's a liner lock and it is extremely smooth. Even the acoustics, listen to these acoustics. Like I said, I don't know if that'll come over the mic because sometimes it doesn't, but it's got a really nice ching sound and I love it. Um, milled titanium pocket clip and backspacer and it is stupid smooth. The access to the hole is really good. I'm not a big fan of the tap flipper, but you know, it's, it's there and it doesn't really matter, you know, but it does work. It's just, I'm not a huge fan of it. I'm still getting used to it, but the flipping action and reverse flicking action is so good that I'm not even going to fault them for the third deployment option that, you know, I'm not a big fan of, but it still works. So, so, but all in all, man, good looking knife, solid knife, great, useful knife, ergonomically really good. And yeah, the action just blows me away on this one. And the Wii Banter XL, or the Big Banter, the Big Banter. It's basically like a, a, a stretched out version of the Baby Banter, but it is amazing. I think this is one of the best work knives that came out this year. Um, 20 CV steel, G10, steel liner lock. Um, it, so it's not like all premium materials or, the, or anything. I think the, the, the thumb studs are titanium, but it's a steel deep carry clip that's inset with flat screws, G10 with steel liners. So it's not like a super premium knife, but that's also why I think it's such a good work knife. You know, this thing has the blade shape, one of my favorite blade shapes, um, that's going to be versatile. The ergos are super versatile. No matter what grip you have it in, it's very well balanced. And like I said, as a tool, as a cutting tool, as, you know, a work knife, this thing is fantastic. I absolutely love it. And I think it would work good on a lot of job sites. Um, but anyways, let's get to the next one. Next is the Vision R. Now, the Vision R I, is available right now. Um, I believe I can link the raw version down in the description. I'll link everything from this video down there. Um, but these things sold out really, really quick. And like I said, the, the raw, which I think is probably the best looking one in my opinion, is the raw one. But that one, I think, I believe I can link down in the description. 20 CV sheep's foot blade. And it is a Snex design. Now, what's interesting about this or why I like this so much is because it's different. It's unique. And some people like it. Some people don't. Um, I know they sold out pretty quick, so it seems like a lot of people do like it. But it has this lock bar that uh, the spring pushes up into right behind the stop pin, and then it falls into a groove on the blade. Now, it is such a strong locking system. And I mean that because, like, I can... Let it just barely click in. And right now it is rock solid. Like it is vault like. And I think that's amazing that he was able to, to do that with such a simple thing. Um, and when you're squeezing, it's going to be even stronger. Ergonomically, it's pretty good. Good materials, titanium, 20 CV steel. It's pretty fidgety. Now the detent isn't very strong, but you know, it's just, it's the way the locking system is. Um, and yeah, it's pretty cool. And the clip, the way it works is you drop it down and you just kind of flip it like that. So then when you go to take it out of your pocket, you kind of just pinch, turn, and pull up. And it works good. Um, so, But it's not my favorite clip in the world. 
at least this one. My new knife that I just recently got has a clip like this and it works a lot better than this one, but it's still good, you know, and it's unique, like I said, so. Let's get to some USA made knives. How about a couple USA made knives before we move on? American Blade Works Model 1 version. Wait, yeah, Model 1 version 6. This is the titanium frame lock version. Now, I did have a liner lock version of this at one point. This one has beautiful micro milling. I love the machining on this. Um, stone washed um, S35 VN blade, but I believe the new ones are in Magna Cut. Titanium milled pocket clip that works great. And the cutout to the lock bars on the inside. Titanium backspacer. The action is really good. Now, this doesn't have a ting sound to it, but the, I do like the way it sounds. It almost sounds like snapping fingers in person. Oop. <laughs> Hit the camera. But mine's very smooth, but it is broken in. Ergonomic really good. Or ergonomically very good. Um, access to lock bar is good. It is very smooth. Now, I think I put... Gillian bearings in mine, but either way though the one issue I do have though is that every single one I've tried has a little bit of pivot lash Just a little bit um, Some worse than others and I believe I've sent them back in to get fixed and they never really got fixed It's not that big of a deal to me, but I know it's not the lock bar I know it's not blade rock or anything like that. I can tell it's just the pivot is just a little bit too small for the hole but there is one guy doing these, and I, I still stand by it. I think this is an amazing knife. I would buy it again, 100% buy it again. Um, I love it, and I, I can't wait to see what else he comes up with. Next, this one's been out for over a year, but I only got it in 2022. But it did, I think, just came out at the end of 2021 or something like that. But this is the Tactile Rockwall, USA made. Magna Cut Steel again. I do have a, um, a bunch of videos on this, and... This thing is so sharp. Holy cow. Um, it has micro milled, micro milling on the titanium. So it's a titanium scaled titanium liner lock. Very, very smooth. I mean, stupid smooth. The thumb studs are way easier to use than they look because they look so tight to the scale. But because of this little cutout, it makes it super easy to snap it out. It's um, really good in the hand. Um, it's, you know, somewhat of a light duty EDC knife, but still, it, you know, that's what it is. It's kind of a jet knife, so to speak. Titanium uh, backspacer. I believe this is a steel clip, I believe. Let me just double check really quick. Yes. Stainless steel milled pocket clip or stainless steel pocket clip, not milled. Um, but all in all, I love this knife because it's small, useful, USA made, super snappy. The action on it is surprisingly really good. And even though the heat treatment, they are bringing it up, by the way. But at this time when they made it, the, the HRC was a little bit on the lower side for Magnet Cut. But I could tell that the heat treat is still really, really good. So shout out to them for doing a great heat treat. Another USA made knife is... This buck, now I know you guys are probably surprised to see a buck on this list, but they did a good job on this one. Now, let me just say, you know, buck doesn't make my favorite knives in the world or anything. Um, I wish they would step it up, but they're always, they always have a place in my heart. And that's the thing. And I love to see them do good. Now, this has the best action I've ever felt on a buck. The only knife that could probably compare, like if I was going to put buck knives into action, um, categories, the Buck Marksman, Marksman was really good as well. But this one has a detent nub instead of a detent ball, which is a Brian Nadeau thing. And it makes for an incredible snappy detent. This one too sounds like somebody snapping their fingers. Anyways, my card of scales, um, deep carry clip, Super snappy action. This one has S30V, but they do have a Magna Cut version, I think, or an S45VN version. I'm not sure, but there's a bunch of different versions of this. Um, I like it quite a bit. The clip, I do feel a lot in the hand, so it's not the most ergonomic knife in the world, but it's a super solid knife with a hollow ground, spay point blade, and, you know, it's uh, Buck stepped it up, you know, and I, I'm happy about that. Next is... 
the Voss Steed Nightshade. Now they are, or they did come out with a liner lock version, budget version of this. Sorry, this is a liner lock. What I mean is there was no bolster on it. So it's just a liner um, lock with G10, and it was a more affordable option because it had 154cm. This one has the M390 steel and the deep carry titanium clip. Yeah, deep carry titanium clip. They did a really good job with this clip. Um, very, very good. Like This knife is such a useful knife. The pinch grip for this, you can do great utility cuts, you can cut straps, you can cut forward, you can saw, like it's just, it's such a fantastic shape. Like I can't express that enough how useful this design is. I would love to see more knives like this. And, you know, it's not the most ergonomic because it is kind of small and teardropish, which I like the teardropish where it goes from smaller to bigger, but it's it could be a little bit more palm filling, but because it's so good, it just works. Traps materials into the blade, um, same thing with the reverse grip. The action is stupid good. They made a super comfortable flipper tab. The flipper tab is so comfortable. Access to the lock bar is really good. And it is very, very smooth. I can reverse flick it. But yeah, I love it. Um, next is the Penguin XL. Now, I wasn't going to put this on the list because, you know, the Penguin's been out for a long time. But this is a complete new version because it is an XL. They also have the minis. But... Also, it's a flipper and not just thumb studs, but they knocked it out of the park. It's amazing. One, the Penguin's already an amazing knife. Now, this one's in 20 CV, titanium frame lock, steel lock bar insert, amazing access to the lock bar, very, very smooth on the drop. The detent is fantastic. Um, it has a deep carry wire clip that is reversible. Uh, the biggest gripe I have is the choil. I do not like the sharpening choil or plunge grind, but hey, you know, you can't win them all, right? Can't get everything you want in one knife, but anyways, it's really good. Ergonomics are great. The cutting performance is really good. Uh, Geometry is not the thinnest or anything, but it works, and it's good. And the utility cutting is amazing. So, yeah, the QSP Penguin Plus. Next, the Concept Concept Predatout. Now, this is... One of my favorite concepts, but it's not my favorite concept. Actually, there's a knife that should be on this list, and I don't have it here. There's actually two knives that should be on this list, and I don't have them here. One of them being the Concept Convict. It would absolutely be on this list, but I have it shipped out right now to a friend. So, I don't have it here. However, it would 100% be on this list, and it would be my favorite concept of the year. They did such a good job on it, especially when they changed the thumb disc into two thumb studs. Love the knife. It is such a good knife. Um, I, like, that's why I loaned it out. I loaned it out because I knew it was a good knife and I'd love for other people to get to experience it. Um, the other knife that would be on this list that's not on this list because I just don't have it here because I have it shipped out. Again, I love it a lot, but I have it shipped out for that same reason, which is the Wee Beacon. The Wee Beacon is a killer design. Um, I was going to supplement it for the Wee Subjugator, which I do also love, but I did not put that one on the list, but that's also another great knife. The Wee Subjugator, the Wee Beacon, they're, they're, they're not the same, so uh, the Wee Beacon is the one I would have put on the list. So just so you guys know, that would 100% be on the list if I had it here. So if you guys want to check one out, if you like the way it looks, it, the action's amazing. Uh, the fit, the finish, the, the ergos, the cutting performance, everything was great on it. I absolutely loved it. But the knife we have in front of you <laughs> is the concept of Prey to Tout. And this one is the premium version with the Timascus clip, titanium frame lock, and the Damascus. Now, this is a powdered steel Damascus with a clip point blade that just looks good. It's a damn good looking knife ergonomics are fantastic it's a great cutter the action and is super good as well now this one does have a budget option so if you love the shape of it and you love the way it looks they do have a micarta and 154 cm version um and they also have a plain blade version with the titanium scales and everything um so oh and a, and a tanto version so there's a lot of different options with the Prey to Tau, but I love it, man. It just works so good. The clip's really good. The clip works great in the pocket. The action is good. Thumb studs are a little slick, but you also have the fuller, so you can reverse flick off the fuller if you want to. Um, I love it. I think they did a good job on it. Now, another concept 
The concept Shikari. Now, I wasn't going to put this on the list for one reason, but uh, but I decided against it. I decided to put it on there because this is a beast. This is a very large knife. And I wanted to make sure all the knives on this list, none of them were pre-order knives or anything like that. This is all knives that are production that you can buy right now. Um, you don't, you did not have to pre-order them or anything. So there's a lot of knives that came out this year that were amazing, but you can't buy them anymore because they were for pre-order. This is a knife you can still get right now, and it is a beast, an absolute beast. Ergonomics melt in your hand. It's a titanium bolster lock. It does come in multiple different options. This one is the the powdered steel Damascus. 9CR and 440C Damascus, which they did a really good job on. Um, access to the lock bar is super good. Very, very smooth on the drop. Thumb stud deployment. And it's a beast. But it's labeled as like a hunting knife, which I could totally see because it has a nice hunting blade shape, but it slices so good. I mean, if you like big knives and you want your big knife to just work good um, and not get in the way, but be an actual, like, um, a well intention knife or a knife that just works really good for everything this is a great knife um not the most edc friendly because you know the tip is not the best utility cutter but you can use it and as long as you're only opening things up with the tip and you're not doing like precision tasks yeah this is great fantastic now the reason why i almost didn't put it on the list is because they put the damn plunge or the damn choil you see that right there the plunge grind choil it's kind of misground a little bit. And then they put the stop pin right there. So I can't even cut in my own choil. Now, of course, I can just sharpen up the blade. And that's what I'm going to have to do and try to avoid removing any steel from right there. But that's stupid to me. That's not well thought out. They shouldn't have done that. But they did. So it is what it is. But I still do love it. And as long as you know that that's the case. So when you sharpen it, you don't sharpen up or sharpen off the the choil next remember all these knives are production knives that you can still buy i did not i did I, there would be a completely different list here if these were all pre-order knives next is the archbishop 3.0 this is a firm forge design a mine is reground by bgm knives i got a, a hollow grind put on mine oh, i love this knife i absolutely love this knife it has some of the best action of 2022 um this flipping action is just so good so so good great reverse flicking action um super super solid it has a clamshell construction so it's only two pieces um it has a milled titanium pocket clip great access to the lock bar um fantastic sharpening choil and plunge grind even with the version that didn't have the even with the regular version or the production version because mine has a hollow grind on it. But anyways, 20 CV, titanium, fantastic. Love it. And then another one. Where's that? Right here. Also, an, a Ferrum Forge design, the Ferrum Forge design Alluris. This is such a good knife. 20 CV, same thing, all the same deals. Now, this one already came with good geometry. So, the other one had decent geometry, but this one is 13 thousandths, I think, behind the edge with a nice thin blade stock. It is very, very slicey, and ergonomics are great. They move the cutout to the lock bar on the inside, so the, 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 the clip works great. Clamshell this, um, construction again, so it's only two pieces fantastic flipping action i do kind of wish there was a hole there but i still can reverse flick it so i'm not too worried about it but i might drill in a hole myself next next is next the giant mouse jutland what a fantastic knife i absolutely love this one now i'm normally not a big fan of clip points that 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 come up the per, the persian up or you know, to have like a trailing point style tip. But this one in particular, I think is amazing. One, they just knocked out of the park the whole thing. It's made in Italy. Stupid good action. Very, very smooth on the drop. Elmax steel. And I don't think they do a really bad job with their Elmax. So I know they don't do a good job with their M390 and stuff. Or at least the stuff that comes out of um, Italy. If you get the ones from it done by Riat, those ones are pretty good. But the ones from Italy, they don't normally do a good job with their M390, but their LMX doesn't seem bad. It always seems like it's pretty good to me. Um, fantastic action. 
beautiful micarta. Giant Mouse has some of the best micarta you can get. This is the, I think the OD Green micarta, I think. Um, satin Blade. And, yeah, it's just, it's done so well. And even with the blade shape, I still love it because the tip doesn't go up too high. So, I can still do it, use it for utility cuts. to be a great hunting knife or just uh, a great EDC knife. I, I've been EDCing the heck out of it and I love it. Next, let's go through a couple CMB knives. We only have two on the list. The CMB Made Knives Knight. So, yeah, this one's not the... No, yeah, this one's the Knight. So, the Spear is also a really good one that I love, um, but I didn't put it on the list. I wanted to put this one on the list. The Spear and this one are pro probably interchangeable to me. They're both really good. I think they knocked it out of the park with them. But the Ergos on this one is so comfortable. They did such a good job ergonomically. I love the blade shape. I love the look of it. It has a great profile. Now, I don't like that you can't really reverse flick this little notch thing right there. You, it is only a flipper, flipper deployment only. The access to the lock bar is really good. M390 steel. Their M390 is not the, not the hardest M390 in the world, but, you know, it's a solid knife. Great milled pocket clip, titanium milled pocket clip. And like I said, the ergos and the blade shape just work so good. And the detent is solid. They did a good job on it. CMB does a really good job. The We Evoke. Now, this one does come in multiple different options. I love this knife. Um, it is a straight clip point blade that is so, so useful. I mean, this thing does great utility cuts, great slicing. The ergos are great. It has titanium frame lock with 20 CV steel, front flipping action, and thumb stud action. Now, I would probably still put the beacon a little bit ahead of this one, but I still love this one. And it's got a mill titanium clip instead of that, that, that titanium uh, deep carry clip they have. Um, titanium backspacer. And, yeah, it's just a super good knife. The one thing I dislike is I, I wish they wouldn't put the, the damn um, stop pin right here, but they still gave you something to sharpen off. So it's not like the, the Shikari we talked about earlier, or at least not as bad. But, damn it, such a good knife. Ray Laconico usually kills. And I'm surprised they didn't put his name on the spine. Instead, they put it right on the side of the blade. But it is what it is. Next, the... Sharp by Designs Apex. So this is done by Ria, and it is a Sharp by Designs. It's a Brian Nadeau, so it already speaks for itself. It's amazing. Now, this knife could have been, like, the best of the best this year. It probably would be, if not for this clip. I'm going to have to modify the clip, but the clip is very, very bad in the hand. Like, it's a super hot spot. So I got to fix that. However, the knife itself, it's so good. We even get, we're even giving one away right now on Patreon because it's such a damn good knife. It really is, man. So we have the Brian Nadeau um, detent nub, like we were talking about the buck earlier, instead of a detent ball, which leaves for such a consistent break from the detent. It's so clean. It just... It's hard to explain without getting to feel one, but it's different. It's not like a normal D10 ball. It has a little bit of a, a thunk thump to it where like you hear it when it pulls out. Almost like it's sticky. And that leaves for a great reverse flick. Even with the open position, the way it locks up, it's just it's it's a little bit more precise. Because it has a ramp, so the ramp kind of pulls the lock bar into place, which is very satisfying. Um, the reverse flick is fantastic. The thumb flick is great. This does come in two different blade shapes and two different colors. This, or, no, sorry. There's a lot of different options from this. So you have the drop point. This is the Tonto with the hollow, the dual grind Tonto. Um, this one's the blue one. They do have a red one. Then they also have a front flipping version instead of a regular flipper. So lots of different options here. They are still available. And I know the reason why a lot of them are still available is because of this clip. But I'm going to fix mine and I'm still happy I got it. So it's such a good knife. And I love this pivot. Col or pivot. Next is another React made knife, the tooling. So this is a knife that um, was designed by Jerry Moen. And I, you know, some people might not like the way it looks. 
I think this thing looks badass. I love the bottleneck shape of the handle with the jimping on the back. I think it, it one, it is very, very, very comfortable. It just works. It makes it to where this thicker end, you have a lot to hang on to back there. So then right here doesn't have to be, you know, like super thick and just works good. Love this blade shape. And it's a front flipper and a reverse flicking knife. Now, it has RWL 34 blade steel. Now, that might not be that great for a lot of people considering the price because it is very expensive. But that's what Jerry Moen uses on a lot of his knives. So, you know, it's uh, very similar to his customs. Now, so many things are great about this. I absolutely love it. But there is one big gripe I have, and that is the lock bar. On his other knife that he did, or on his custom that I tried, he had this same jimping right here on the lock face or the lock bar why man it just drives me nuts i didn't put that jimping right here it would be so much better but you know it's a little bit tight to get to um i still love the knife it is also on free floating bearings so there is no um there's no cage, so when you open this thing up, you will have a lot of little bearings uh, rolling around, but it has a ceramic milled titanium pocket clip and backspacer, and this one doesn't work that bad either. This one actually works pretty decent. I'm normally not a huge fan of them, but this one works good, and yeah. Next is the Migoran... What was the name of this? The Migoran. Sorry, the AM8 Morad, which is Migoran 2. So, the AM8 Morad. Now, there was another knife that they did, the Dromos, that I would have totally put on this list if uh, it didn't come with the issues it came with with me. So, if you go onto their site or use the links down in the description and you see the Dromos and you're like, man, that's my style, that's what I want, I would recommend getting it because I don't think yours will have the same issues as mine. Um, but just be warned that mine had issues. The inlays were coming out and things like that. Now, this came super solid. And it has M390 steel, drop point blade, flipping action, titanium frame lock. This inlay has been really good. It's a shred carbon fiber inlay. It's not on both sides, but this micro milling is super deep. Very aggressive, but in a good way. Uh, milled titanium pocket clip that's not deep carry and a milled backspacer. Very, very smooth action. The flipper works great. And ergonomically, it is very, very good. So it's just a solid knife. And I think out of all the knives they made this year, this one was the one that I think was the best. However, there was a couple other knot models that I really, really liked. Like the hat, like the Cavog, that was a really good one. Like I said, the Dromos was really good. But this is my pick for them this year. Next is the Beast. The best tech Fairchild. I cannot wait for them to make this into a smaller knife. One, I love this one just the way it is. But damn it, I would carry it so much more if it was just a little bit smaller. Because this thing is a beast. Let's pull out the other beasts from earlier. Let's pair them up together really quick. They are... Oh, wow. This one's even longer. Holy cow. You can see these are monsters. Just to show you how big they are, let's pick up something else that's uh, a regular size knife. Here we go. This is a full-size knife right here. So, <laughs> you can see the difference. These two are very big. This is an 8-inch knife right here. So, these are very big knives. This one is, you know, it's, it's so comfortable in the hand. You can choke up really good. I love this blade shape. It's like one of my favorite blade shapes. You can do utility cuts, slicing. You can even turn around and cut straps if you want to. It's not going to be the most comfortable, but you totally could. Access to the lock bar is good. It's only reverse flicking, but the reverse flicking action and detent is really good nice stiff detent and it is a complete guillotine very very smooth mill titanium clip that does work good uh backspacer is also titanium and i believe it comes in a couple different colors so beautiful satin finish s35 vn blade steel and yeah that satin finish is really nice on it too yeah so very very cool i love it now the last knife on the list 
Now, none of these were in any order whatsoever, right? These were not in any order, not even a little bit. Like I said, I only did production knives that you could still get. I did not do the pre-order knives or anything like that. But my favorite buy of the year was the F-22 Kickstart. So many things are checked off with this. Now, like I said, this is just for production knives that you can still buy. I did not add any, you know, because the list would be different if I added the pre-order knives and things like that. I mean, you guys would be seeing a lot of other knives here. But this is all the knives that you can you can get right now. You can buy right now production knives. Um, not the pre-order knives aren't production knives, but, you know, once they're sold out, they're sold out, right? This is... 20 C or M390 steel, titanium, titanium mill pocket clip, backspacer, and it's a titanium liner, right? You see, see how it's steel lock bar insert, but then it's, and this thing comes in like a hundred different versions, maybe not a hundred, but it comes in a lot of different versions. You got micarta, different colors of micarta, the titanium, different colors, titanium. Love this drop point blade with this beautiful swedge at the tip. The action is where this thing shines because it has the kick stop. So you notice how you don't see the flipper tab when I flip it open. So you see the flipper tab? Now it's gone. Because it's still back there. Because it's separate from the blade. So that pushes onto the blade. So when you're ready to flip it, it has so much power. It, 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 I don't know. I think it, they get to, because it's disconnected, I think they're able to put more leverage into the flipper tab. Which if it was connected, they might not be able to do. But because it gets to hide, you know, it, it's it's different. So, man, does this thing kick. There's a reason why it's called the kick stop. Let me just say that. Because it kicks and then it stops. I love it. But... This has been my favorite knife, my favorite purchase of the year, and what I think I think just knocked it out of the park. It is quite, it is pretty expensive. It's expensive, but I'm very, very happy with this one, the one that I bought. I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.